Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now this week we're going to be taking a look at some code areas. Now this is quite an advanced feature so if you're kind of a novice user don't be intimidated by this, you won't necessarily have to use it but it is there for when the time comes when you might need to do some more advanced stuff um, and for our advanced users I think you're absolutely going to love this. So we've opened up the code uh, template area for the theme essentially. You used to have some boxes where you could paste code into and we found that quite limiting and as we were looking at how we could improve this from RapidWeaver Classic we decided to redesign the system a little bit and uh, make it a lot more powerful. So I want to show you how that works. So right now um, I've got this uh, site that I've put together here and we're going to dive straight in and look at the new template area. So if I open my site settings here, uh, I've got my general, my web icons, advanced, and then there's this new area here called template. And this gives us direct access to the template that Elements uses to preview and export the code. Now this code isn't run in the editor. Uh, <clears throat> And we do that to um, safeguard the editor from um, things being injected into here and breaking the experience in the app. But when anything you put in here will be visible when you preview it in Safari or when you export. So this is really handy. And now this gives you full access to place your code anywhere and lay things out or include things however you want. And you'll notice we've got all these um, tags here in uh, curly braces. So these are accessible by you on a page level basis and you can, um, they're all pretty self descriptive as in what the tags are for, you know, like this is custom body start and this is custom body end. And those will be your custom areas that are accessible over here. Um, so let me close this down before we come back to here. Let me close down and show you on a page level where you can edit those. Now, again, this UI isn't finished because we are uh, we're still finishing up this feature. So it's a little bit messy around here um, and we've got some refining to do. But if I um, go to this page, my home page, and I click on the show page settings, I get access to all those tags for adding code wherever I like. So like the in the page start, the page end, the head start, head end, uh, or if I've got JS or CS. So this is really, really flexible and it allows me to put code anywhere I want in each of my pages. So um, on each page, you get a separate code area. But now, for now, I want to, um, I want to include a JS file. So we're going to dive straight into that because what I want to do, I want to put some snow on my website. I want some fluttering snow because you know I'm getting ready for Christmas already. I know it's the middle of summer but it's never too early to start. So um, what I want, I've got a script here that I've downloaded from the internet. Um, I've got snowfall.js and I need to reference that in here. So the first thing I want to do is go to my resources and I'm going to pop it in my um, resources there. So now I've got snowfall.js and while I'm here, um, this is a nifty feature. I just want to tidy up this resources area. So I've got these two images, new folder from selection. I'm going to call that graphics. Um, and I've got my icons here and I'm going to do new folder from selection. Boom. And we're going to call this icons. Um, so we're getting things pretty tidy. And this one, um, I'm going to call this my scripts. So if I add anything else like some CSS, other JavaScript, I can put them all in the scripts folder and that will keep things nice and tidy, especially when it's exported. So I've got my snowfall.js file, which I want to reference and I can see the code there. Uh, when I hit space, that gives me a little preview of it. Uh, but let's go back into my site settings and I need to reference it here. So we need to get a path to this folder and luckily we've got a uh, like a macro for that, another tag. So let me go to Safari and I've got the element documents uh, documentation open here and I want to look in site settings and we've got the template um, instructions here. Uh, these are only preliminary documentation. It is online now, so you can go and have a look. Um, we will obviously fill this out and give more detail, etc. But it's here, so 
when we release this beta, you can dive in and do it yourself. But what we need is this page.resources path, because that's going to give us the path to the resource. And I'm going to copy this uh, little code snippet here because um, this is handy because this is a, a script tag which is going to link to our file. So I'm going to come back over here and I could choose to paste this anywhere I wanted. Uh, I'm going to go just below the title. Uh, you might have a different place you want to paste it, you know, but um, just after the uh, or just before the closing head tag, up to you seeing as you can edit anything in here that's completely your choice. So really powerful stuff. Um, right, so I've got my script and I'm using the macro page.resourcePath, which will always work out um, the path back to the resource. Uh, you know, if this was a subfolder in a subfolder, it will always keep track of that. And I've got my JavaScript file in a, um, in a scripts folder there. So I've got scripts in here already, forward slash. And I need to rename this because it's not JavaScript.js, it's Snowfall, Snowfall.js. Excellent. So now um, let's close this because I've added that in. Now we won't see this in the editor because I said before we don't run the JS in the editor um, to stop things from breaking or getting in the way or corrupting this. We run it in preview and publish. So if I want to see if this is working, I can hit the Safari button. And boom, there it is. Uh, and that works. So we're linking to it and I've got some snow on my web page, uh, which will be excellent for uh, for Christmas time, if you like that kind of thing. Right, so um, there was one other thing I wanted to have a look at. I wanted to add a cursor effect. So I found this example on um, GitHub and this is going to give me some 90s cursor effects. Now, we'd, I don't need to install this or um, use a file. Uh, you could do, but they've. Uh, I can hot link it here. Uh, I can just copy this um, link because you can see it's going to uh, this domain and using it. But if you were doing it, you might want to download the script, add it to elements. But for the case of this, it's I'm kind of showing you another way that you could link to stuff. Um, and it works. So let's open our uh, site template again. And I'm going to paste this in just below that. That's great. So now we're linking to that JS as well. So linking to two JS files. Excellent. And we're going to need to call this on the page that we want it. So we need it to run. Unlike the snow one, it's not just going to run. We need to tell it what effect we want. Um, so I looked at this earlier and I know we just need this little bit of script here and this is going to initialize the ghost cursor on my cursor. So I'm going to copy that and on my home page we're just going to paste this into the JS area here. So that will get triggered. Uh, let's close that and again I can't see it in the edit area but let's go over to the browser and now I've got this, uh, my ghost cursor. So our website is looking uh, pretty jazzy, I'd say. Pretty jazzy already with just a few of those includes. Um, now it does support a lot of other um, types of effects. And let's go page settings again. And I think there was a rainbow one. So let's type in rainbow cursor, which I'm assuming it's that. Uh, let's hope this works. And we'll go and preview this again. And there we go. Ooh, that's pretty good. So now um, it's snowing on my web page and I've got this. And it was really easy to just link to these files. One JS file that is included in the site. And we're hot linking there to um, one that's online. And that's purely to show you, you know, that's what you can do. So this is super, super powerful because it gives you the ability to add your own code in here. Um, you know, I could uh, I could write some things like if I wanted a header and I wanted it always to be on the published page, um, I could insert a little bit of, let's do an H1 tag. So you can see I'm writing this in the body of the page. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing this. There's no, I don't think you need to do this because I would possibly use a custom component or something, but the flexibility is there and I'm just doing this to show you, you know, it's it's pretty powerful stuff because you have direct access to the theme template that you're using. So let's close that. So I've done a little H1 hello there 
and let's preview that and go to the top boom and you can see it's up the top so really if you've got any code you need to get into the site and you need to put it anywhere this is another way of doing it so when you combine this with um, custom components where you can put HTML in the page you now have access to put HTML absolutely anywhere in the site in the template and this is really powerful because what we are really trying to do here is keep it simple for new users who are just getting started and don't need this stuff they don't even need to go into here or see it or edit it um, and then elements will can slowly um, it kind of grows as the user grows so if they think ah oh, I need to I want to paste in some analytics code and I know I need to do it in the header area or at the top of the body or you know at the bottom of the body I need to paste it in there can I do that and with these kind of features yes you can and that's what we're really trying to do here is when users start to grow and they want more power and it's like can I do this and yes we want the answer to always be yes so uh, this is where we're headed with um, site templates and we think opening this up like this is super powerful you know and this is just the first revision of it we've got a little bit more work to do to flesh this out fully but um, it does give you the power to add all those tags you want all that code you want customize things super powerful stuff so um, I hope I've shown you with my jazzy website here with the snow and uh, my rainbow cursor that this really is exciting and it makes doing these changes super easy um, and powerful so yeah all right uh, that's it for this week and you should be able to use this in the beta um, and you can have a play around with this yourself I'll include links to the scripts I've used so you can kind of have a go at implementing them and have fun with those all right thanks for watching this as always and I will see you in the next one Cheers, bye.